Good day. I'm Andrew Wilson, Executive Director of the Center for International Private Enterprise, or CIP. And I'm here to welcome you to the fourth annual Free Enterprise and Democracy Network Conference. You know, more and more people are realizing that we cannot take democracy and free enterprise for granted. And I really appreciate that you're giving these freedoms your attention today. Just last February, CIP had our 40th anniversary event at the U.S. Chamber of Commerce, where we celebrated a legacy of bolstering freedom of association, women's empowerment, business integrity, participation in policy dialogue, and small business opportunity. Yet in 2024, which has been dubbed the world's biggest election year, we've got our eye on a range of emerging issues, such as the digital economy, corrosive and constructive capital, business for peace, and private sector support for free media, civic space, and democracy. Over the 40-year history of SIPE, we've witnessed two decades of remarkable expansion of democracy, then followed by two decades of democratic backsliding, which troubles us all. We've also seen 30 years of declining global poverty counterbalanced by an increase in inequality within many countries. What we see then are that the fates of political freedom and economic opportunity are intertwined, but their progress is far from linear. You know, in 2007, Saip was the first to write about democracy that delivers. This phrase describes a democratic system of governance that benefits citizens through the creation of public goods, the encouragement of market economies, and accountability to all citizens. These advantages of democracy have been well documented, yet we've got to acknowledge that we live in a time of great stress on democratic institutions in which authoritarian gains flow from both alternative narratives and malign influence. Our conference theme today, Democracy at a Crossroads, signif signif signifies that we're at such a crucial moment in history. Over the course of the day, we'll look back at the promise of democracy since the fall of the Berlin Wall, and we'll ask ourselves, has democracy lived up to citizen expectations? We'll also look at current efforts to improve democratic governance and expand opportunity, and we'll identify who's having a positive impact today? And finally, we'll ask, what does the future hold? And we'll ask ourselves, what can democratic renewal and renewed economic opportunity look like? Democracy at a crossroads also has a second meaning, which is that we have choices to make. Democracy by its nature involves a plurality of views to which is added the complexity of today's multipolar world. There is no consensus position in place on how democracy might deliver going forward, nor consensus on economic policy. Therefore, we must look for new leadership among policymakers and in communities, among citizens, and among entrepreneurs. So we ask not, will democracy work, but rather, who will make democracy work? The Free Enterprise and Democracy Network, or FEDN, is composed of individuals who've distinguished themselves in private enterprise and public service, who make the case for democratic and market principles in their words and actions. And I'd like to acknowledge the Fed and members who are with us here today and who do this work throughout the year. We're looking to them and our guest speakers to tell us about where to focus and where we might look for new leadership. You know, I always learn something new from Fed and, and I'm sure you will too today. Thanks for again for connecting with us and enjoy the conference.